Hi everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today. Some of you might have caught a little tidbit I put in Sudo Reboot's live stream the other day about how MX kind of caters to people that want to make their own spins of a distro. Actually, we make it real easy with the MX Snapshot tool. Now, a lot of people use that for their own personal backup of their system, with their user accounts and everything, and that's one mode. Uh, but there is another mode. Pop in my password here. We're not going to run MX Snapshot right now. I have done my own, I have done past videos on it. But if you come to the second page, you'll see preserving accounts for personal backup or resetting accounts for distribution to others. This resetting accounts does just what it says. It resets the accounts back to zero. Now, on the base MX system, that means you're going to get the original XFCE defaults and the MX defaults for, for everything, unless you do some tweaking. Well, I'm going to show you where, uh, uh, like, let, let's say, for instance, you want to change a different wallpaper. I happen to like my TARDIS. You might like squirrels hanging upside down. I don't know what you like. But you probably want something different if you're going to be tweaking the operating system. Maybe you want the default panel to be horizontal. Who would want that? Who would want the panel to be horizontal? Uh, I don't know. Crazy people, I guess. So I'm going to open Thunar here, and you can see I've got all my hidden folders shown. That's because a lot of these settings show up in your home folder, and if you reset for other people to use, then those those folders aren't going to be done. So anything you want to stay until the next in, in, inside the snapshot for the new user created on on the next snapshot needs to be copied from the home folder. So let's say for instance, for instance, uh, and dot config is a good place to start. Uh, if we come into XFCE4 and you see we have the panel configurations here. Okay, I want those panel configurations to be available for any user, even with my customizations. You need to copy them into the root folder slash Etsy slash scale dot config in the same, you know, in the same folder structure as a user folder. Slash Etsy slash scale. Think of it as a skeleton file. This is the default configuration. This is the folder for the default configurations. Now you want to be careful if you're going to be distributing this thing to other people to make sure that you get rid of your personal information, even from the general snapshot. There, nine times out of ten, it's going to be gone anyway. But just be careful with it, okay, before you send it out on the Internet. Email addresses seem to be something that people forget sometimes. So at any rate, uh, Mozilla profiles would be another one. Don't just copy the whole home folder. Pick and choose. Pick and choose. When I make my respins, I copy very specific things. Check out my custom antics video because I show you how to move the Mate desktop, for instance, settings into slash SD slash scale. Anyway, I've done those videos. I just wanted to mention it because we have something very special today, which is a spin of MX that, um, well, kind of sort of calling my partner in crime in the MX tools uh, division, uh, Adrian, uh, has developed a spin called well he calls it workbench mx workbench now is this an official spin no nope, we are hosting it on our website but he is but at any rate um the system is set up for utility type stuff D uh, disk recovery fo uh, file recovery and to that end there's an, actually a custom tool in here and it's called custom toolbox and this is it on the on the panel and this is a very simple utility that if you want to create your own MX tools like system, this is not MX tools, you can add them all if you want to, but this system will help you create a custom little launcher thing. Um, and it's very easy to configure. Uh, Anyway, in the in the workbench, he's got various tools here. We've got antivirus clam. We've got test disk for doing uh, you know things to your disk. Like and then it's a decomp of in, in, under file recovery. Photo rec is actually part of the test disk package. That's for file recovery. Uh, we got a hex editor, uh, uh, syncing tools, things you might need. Disk uses analyzer, clonezilla. N wipe is kind of like uh, if you've seen Dan's. Uh, 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 it's the nuke. It's the nuke and wipe system for securely erasing a hard drive. Um, all these tools are here. We've thrown. Uh, we we've got a lot of input from the from the from the forums, and Adrian put all this together, and I think he's done a really good job. Um, anyway, there's a lot of tools here that you might find useful. There's also a bunch of uh, command line only tools. 
Here we got Wireshark, uh, Lin SSID, uh, Cini for when all else fails, you just can't get connected to the internet. And if you get bored, you can play a little game here. What is in this thing isn't as important as what it allows you to do. Adrian built this with the snapshot utility and the, this ISO with the snapshot utility, and you can do the same thing. Um, you'll notice a little edit button down here. This tool, Workbench Tools, Launcher, that's not his name. His name is actually Custom Toolbox. And you can edit list files. This is this one happens to be workbenchtools.list. And you can edit your own stuff. This is the name. This line here gives you the name that's in the window. This gives you a comment that shows up in like a tooltip or in the in the uh, whatnot. Uh, categories are the different categories you can define. I'm just gonna make a, I'm just gonna make one real quick down here at the bottom. Oh, and if you need something to run as, with root permissions or to ask for a root password, you put in the name of the desktop file. That's what this is. This is the name of the desktop file without the dot desktop, and then the root and the word root after it, and it will know to start with with uh, with asking for the root password. So category equals. I'm just gonna call it Dolphin Oracle just so I can find it again. Dolphin real fast. Dolphin Oracle, and I'm gonna put in. Oh, I'm gonna put in something I know is there. Synaptic. Okay. Uh, obviously this would be, and I've saved it, the workbench tools list, and we'll close it, and now it's going to reopen, right? And up here toward this, it's alphabetical, so you come up here to the top, and, oh, no, it's down at the bottom, Dolphin, oh, if I close it and come back, it'll be, uh, it, it'll be done. Dolphin Oracle, and there's my Synaptic Package Manager. So, that is a very simple tool to use. Oh, I see, it's because of the lower, it, it's come in last. I did this earlier, and I actually put in a space, and I put Dolphin Oracle with a space and capital letters and everything, and it actually showed up further in the list. So that, that's why I'm stuttering a little bit on that. But at any rate, it, the category shows up, the package shows up. You see, with Dolphin, you didn't put root on here. Well, Synaptic is kind of special. Synaptic uses a, 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 PAM, a, a PK exec uh, authentication instead of um, instead of going for a GKSU or something like that. This is actually a uh, an authenticator for PK exec. So. Um, Let's see, this is live, so the root password is root. And there we go. So now i got Synaptic up and running. Okay, great. So this is something very easy you can do. And if you want to make your own lists, you can. And all you got to do is make a new desktop file. So it would be um, like uh, you would you would launch it as a, as a parameter. So it would be custom toolbox, custom dash toolbox, I think it is, space, and the name of your new list file and then you can have multiple folders. You have multiple lists. Actually, if we launch it without the, if we just launch it from the CLI, it asks you for which list do you want to open. Okay, so here's an example list. And the example list is kind of boring. But if, so if we launch with custom toolbox, workbench, I don't know if that's going to work actually, because I didn't have the, I didn't have the uh, file path. Let's try that again. It would help if I spell everything correctly. Workbench tools. There we go. So that's how it goes. So, you know, third line lucky, right? So, custom toolbox and the name of the path and the location of the list file gets you your box. So I, just to prove a point, we can go back. I'm going to fire up that example one. And there we go. And you can see example launcher. This is name. This is a comment for the launcher. All that is defined in that edit file. And you can set that up uh, for your own. That's how easy it is. to. It, Adrian's made it very easy for you to take that tool and, and, and make your own kind of custom toolboxes. Do you have to use Workbench to do that? No, it's available in the repositories. Just look for Custom Toolbox in the in Synaptic. You'll find it. Uh, it is, however, available by default on on Workbench. And if you're looking for an MX, if you're looking for a, a, a Swiss Army knife, call it type distro type disk to have around with lots of kind of useful features to have. Um, this is a good one to have laying around. Um, I actually used it the other day to uh, recover some photos uh, from a SD card. It worked pretty well. The uh, photographer in question was quite happy that I was able to do that for them. 
Uh, again, you got the all the fine shears tools and everything, and a lot of the same MX tools are in here. And of course, if you're recovering files, you want to be able to check them against something. So we've got VLC for media files. You've got, uh, I think there's a graphics viewer. Yeah, Mirage for graphics viewer. And we have Office. We have the Office stuff, LibreOffice stuff for checking, uh, you know, if you need to check for a particular document or whatever. PDF viewer, because you never know when you're going to have to crack open a manual or something on the internet. And of course, Firefox and all that stuff. And did I mention that all the live USB tools and everything from MX and Annex work? with Workbench. There you go. So anyway, kudos to Adrian. Uh, another uh, very nice spin of MX and c extra kudos to Adrian for writing the custom MX, uh, custom toolbox tool to let other people make their own custom toolboxes. Just one more friendly feature in the MX Tools family to let people you know, customize and make their own stuff. I might have one more spin coming up. There's another teaser. Check out the next video. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forms.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.